Here we're looking at our old friend, the Arduino Uno, but this time we are driving a PVA 1352 Power MOSFET volta Photovoltaic Relay. This was off of a board that I salvaged, and I thought I would give you an overview of this. It works from 0 to 100 volts AC D or DC. What it is, it's a dual MOSFET output that's bi-directional up to 375 milliamps. So this might be useful if you find some or want to buy a few. Thanks for listening. Here is a close-up shot of the uh, circuit that you saw earlier in the video. There's the PVA 1352 right there. It's a four-pin device. It's connected to an Arduino Uno. Through uh, The LED simply has a current limiting resistor. And that's all there is to that particular uh, connection on that board. I had one of these left from years ago when I used to do welder repair, and it was used on control boards. Here's the actual drawing of the device um, LED emitter. Now, this is sort of drawn, it looks like a funny sort of MOSFET, but it's really two MOSFETs put together, and I'll show you how that works in a moment. The PVA 1352, it's a single pole, normally open. It's rated for 100 volts peak AC or DC at 375 milliamps. So it's not a high-powered device by any means. Another name for this type of device could be not just a, it could operate as a relay, if you want to think of it that way, but it also can operate as an analog switch. It can switch on and off AC in a different manner than, say, a triac. Now, you might have something that's a different frequency. You could even switch audio on this, I suppose. But that's something to look at. Notably, though, this is an obsolete device. They're expensive and hard to find, so I went looking for an alternative. Here is the drawings of another similar device called the PVT-212. It's also a single pole, normally open, but it's rated from 0 to 150 volts at 550 milliamps AC or 825 milliamps DC. And of course, this is up on one of my web pages, but this illustrates what you really have here. Here's your LED emitter, if you can see this, and you have two MOSFET transistors where the gates are connected together and the sources are connected together, but the output is taken off the collective drains. What they don't tell you is there's a collection of photovoltaic diodes here that when the LED emitter is turned on, this generates a voltage turning on the MOSFETs. And thus, this drain-to-drain -drain connection setup means it's bidirectional. This particular device also brings the two sources that are connected together out on a pin. So you can connect it up for AC-DC as shown here. You can connect it up just to do DC as shown here at 600 milliamps. Or you can sit here and sort of connect drain to drain and connect your load and a voltage between the uh, sources and the drains, and you could switch 825 milliamps. Um, I've found these for about 80 cents a piece on eBay. They still could be a little hard to find, but are considerably easier than the earlier device. But there is a better way. So instead of hunting around trying to find obsolete parts, I went ahead and basically made my own. This is the VOM1271 that I'll explain in more detail in a separate video. 
that essentially when you apply a current to the LED, it produces a voltage of around 8 volts, very low current. And if you look at the two MOSFETs here, here's gate to gate over to positive. Here is source to source over to negative. And you take the output from drain to drain. Here is the actual outline of the 2N7000s that I use. They're 200 milliamps at 60 volts. In another video, I'm going to show you how to really up the power on this, but this works quite well. And, all right, let me show you a picture of the module with this on it, and we'll conclude this video and move on to the next one. All right, if you're curious what a BOM1271 looks like, it's this here. It's a four pin SOP device. And I just soldered it to this little homemade module with a current limiting resistor. In this case, it is driving two power MOSFETs. So what I have now is a bi directional solid state relay rated at 200 volts at 9 amps or whatever the MOSFET ratings were. But that's another video. And it's really the same circuit you saw here with more powerful MOSFETs. Anyway, that's a separate video devoted for this. Uh, visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.